electrons, the value of L determines the letter that is assigned to the orbital. So when L is zero, that is called an S orbital. When L is one, that's a Yes. 
why when I did the video on deriving the Schrodinger equation, I took as a basic wave this form psi equals g to the i kx minus omega t. I should just explain what pi is. Pi is the square root of minus 1. Now there is no solution to the square root of minus 1. No two numbers multiplied together can ever make minus 1. Because any identical numbers multiplied together always make a positive number. So the square root of minus 1 is what we call an imaginary term. It doesn't exist. But it's used in physics to solve a problem like this. Supposing you end up with a result that says that a squared equals minus g squared. There is no solution to that. But if you introduce i, you can say that a equals i b, because then a squared is i squared b squared, and i squared is minus 1. Now, for those of you who don't know, there is a basic mathematical form, which I'm not going to derive, but it's well established, that if you take psi equals g to the i alpha x, that is one and the same as cosine alpha x plus i sine alpha x. And that is clearly a wave term, because cosine waves oscillate, and so do sine waves. Cosine waves oscillate between between plus one and minus one. If you want them to oscillate between greater amplitudes, then you simply have to put an amplitude term A in front of the general term for the weights. Let's consider the real part of that wave, which is the cosine term, and we are using cosine of kx minus omega. 